Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing Roshan Defense Rebirth, which is made by Boss of This Gym and is currently one of the most popular custom games in Dota 2. Uh, this game mode is a bit wonky. Uh, it's got some interesting characters, like for example, you can play Epic Tower, uh, which is curious, but you can do it. You can also be Spartacus, you can be Aniki, I don't know who that is, but we are just gonna be Tiny today because Tiny is apparently really good and uh, we haven't managed to beat this yet. So we're gonna go ahead and pick the character that's supposed to be overpowered so that we can actually beat this shit. So that's why we're playing Tiny. Um, I'm also doing this as a classic one take recording because uh, it takes a really long time and I don't want Tusky to have to render a two hour long video. Uh, so, uh, you know. Leave a rating on the video, we don't have time to put in a pause and shit like that. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. No guarantee that we beat the mode, by the way. I want to show you what it is, but I can't guarantee you will beat it. Because it takes two hours to record. <laughs> and we don't know if we're gonna be able to actually um, make it work. So, first of all, one thing that's interesting about this mode is that it's got this deep fog of war here, right? You can see it's like very, very uh, dark on the map and we will uncover things. We can go up here and we can punch this rock. Um, this is the golden rock. It will give us golden experience when we hit it. So that's good. We need to do that for a little while. That gives me time to explain things. What this mode is, is it's a, a lane defense mode, strictly speaking, but it's also kind of like a boss fighting farming mode. This right here is Roshan. Uh, we have to defend Roshan. If Roshan dies, we lose. There's a lane here, and there are creeps that spawn in the lane. They walk up here, and they walk all the way over here, and then eventually they clash over here. And there are other creeps that will spawn from our opponent's side that will fight our creeps. Now, there's nothing interesting going there by default, uh, going on there by default, but but like every once in a while, a boss will spawn as well. We do actually have to go and fight the bosses. They are pretty strong. Now, we win this game by uh, working our way all the way over here into the space, killing this Dire Citadel, and then eventually, like, after we've done that, there's a boss that spawns. And that boss, apparently, if we defeat him, then we win. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> so we'll figure that part out together. But we figured out everything else. Um, you can see if I reverse my UI, that's because uh, this overlaps with really some interface things. Um, so you can see over here, these green things, these are items we can buy. There's a whole bunch of custom items. But the important thing is we can buy like a heart, like a normal heart, and then we can upgrade it with one of these. And then we can upgrade that with one of these and this with that. And we get those from bosses. So we need to kill bosses to get these upgrades. Um, then in terms of items, there's one specific item that I want to buy early on that I think is... Uh, pretty good, which is the uh, Crown of Midas. There it is, the Midas Crown, um, which uh, we can get right now with a Skull of Midas. Yes, very good. Okay, we'll get this, we'll get this. And then we need 1500 gold for this right here. So uh, what this does is it will give us passive gold. That's pretty much it. Anyway, let's have a quick little look at our hero. You can see we are tiny, but not quite. We're a little bit differently. A different. So we've got Avalanche, we've got Trample. Okay, uh, Tiny rushes forward, trampling enemy units with his craggy mass. He gains bonus movement speed and face movement. Each trampled enemy takes damage based on Tiny's attack damage and gets stunned. Okay, that seems pretty cool. We've got Tree Grab. That's, of course, fantastic. Goes up to 228 attacks. Okay, chill. Um, then we've got Tiny Buff. Tiny inspires creatures of his own kind from the smallest rocks to the hugest boulders. Which gives us armor, bonus attack, uh, attack speed, and uh, bonus HP. Then we've got Stone Rage, which we get a level 75, uh, increases our attack speed and grants us magic immunity, gives us 1500 attack speed. We can Shape Change, uh, we gain bonus armor or speed, uh, bonus damage, armor form bonus, status resistance bonus, speed form, base attack time. Ooh, that seems pretty sick. And we can get infinite strength for killing stuff. So when we kill something, we gain strength for it. And that's pretty much it. Okay. I uh, will level three now. Uh, I guess I'm gonna level up tree grab once and then um, oh, I guess trample. Okay, I can only level these up a level four again and then I guess I can also only level that up a level four. So that's just what we're going for. So you can see the, the skill level distribution is maybe a little bit unusual, um, but that's just how it goes. And uh, I, this gives me 50 bonus base damage. We can probably just go and um, start doing something else. I mean, I know we've just spent three minutes punching a rock. 
Welcome to the game mode. <laughs> Aghanim's Scepter makes tree grab infinite. It says Aghanim's Shard makes tree grab infinite. Can we get a shard? Aghanim's Shard becomes available. Okay, cool. We'll just buy that whenever it becomes available. So that seems really, really good, really valuable then. Um, but yeah, right now we're just, we're just hitting a rock. So I hope you guys are having a good time. <laughs> but this is honestly the fastest way to get money in the early game. Um, because they're all creeps to kill, but they are really strong and it takes a while to kill them. And this is just like more cash, it's like way more cash. It's honestly incomparable. And by coming in here, we can then finish up our Midas crown and then we'll we'll go from there. All right, and we'll make things work. Uh, Midas crown is uh, really nice because it's just passive golden experience. But in specific, it is a lot of it. It's, it's just like a shit ton of passive golden experience. Like 25, the very top is actually 40 gold per second. Not per minute, per second. So 2,400 gold per um, minute. Which definitely adds up. Like, that adds up pretty damn quickly. So we'll go get that. Uh, okay, so we've got a Midas Crown. The, the rock has been farmed. Uh, we'll pick this up. And then there is another thing that we can get. Which, uh, I will get another skull here. And then I will also get a Midas Omelette. Which is another tool for farming. Uh, a lot of this is gonna be about farming. So, you know, uh, that's just how it's gonna be. Anyway, uh, we're coming in here. We're punching these guys and... I'm gonna run through them, I guess, and then uh, keep hitting them. Yeah, I suppose that's the plan. Ooh, that was a lot of money there. Very good. All right, get more of this trample. But yeah, this is the first farming area. There are a whole bunch of different farming areas, and at the end of each farming area comes a big old boss. And the bosses are pretty tough. Uh, they definitely require you to be quite powerful to be able to make them go away and then for killing the bosses we get ourselves those upgrade cores that we showed you earlier and uh, they are pretty important for that reason all right pick this up i'm glad that i've got this little goblin here who's just like buffing me and helping me out so now we get infinite strength whenever we kill something we gain strength which is uh nice i like that all right uh, to upgrade this we need like quite a lot of money so i think i'll get the Midas Omelette first. And yes, we're just going for both. We're gonna need a lot of money. We're gonna need a lot of money. That's just how that's just how it is. Oh, I need a tree if you don't mind. I gotta pick something up here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we'll take these guys down. I mean, yeah, a tree grab is gonna be incredible. Now, I don't actually know how we, like, do this shape change. I guess it's, um... Oh yeah, it's an active, so we can activate it to shift between the two forms. And my guess would be is we are just always in the speed form, right? Like, the armor form doesn't seem terrible. Like, I'm sure you can do a powerful, like, carry build or, like, tanking build with that. But, like, 0 0.4 base attack time? That's absurd. Like, this is, <laughs> that is actually just kind of silly. So I'm guessing we'll just be in the speed form pretty much the entire time. I mean, it's also good because, you know, we're going to be farming. And for farming, we like having attack speed. All right, I'm going to wait a second to get my Armlet of Midas. The way this works is that whenever I kill a creep, I have a 25% chance to get extra bounty. Um, we just killed five creeps and we didn't get... Oh, was it even six? We killed a bunch of creeps, we didn't get it. But, you know, um, every once in a while we get lucky with it. And that's nice. So we'll go ahead and take this guy down. Thank you very much. Oh, still haven't gotten it. No, I promise you, it does work, maybe. Maybe it does work. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, we'll grab ourselves power treads. Uh, boots are always handy. Right, we like boots. We kind of need boots. And uh, that's just how it's gonna be. I think boots is one of those things that unfortunately we cannot skip out on. But yeah, we are just kind of covering our farming bases right now. Um, this is going to be better late game. This is better mm, for the most of the game. <laughs> this this definitely adds up, right? Like right now, it's not that much, but but it, it will get there. All right, we're level eight. 
we can uh, start working our way towards the next farming area I think we should be plenty strong so if we move over here a little bit we now start fighting these trolls um, which are kind of like the next tier up um, they are worth a little bit more and they are a little bit stronger and uh, so we'll go ahead and start fighting them and uh, you know gotta take these guys down pick up a tree again oh I love the tree it's so good it is so good Tree grab is like one of the best abilities in Dota, right? What do you guys think is like the best ability in Dota? I feel like tree grab is up for discussion. Right? It's like such an absurd spell. Alright, we'll take this here. Pick up you. I'm, I'm running a little low on mana. Magic missile. Nah, it's not magic missile. Nah, it's not. Um, I mean, as much as I wish, Magic Missile is the most important spell, but it's not the best. Right? I think Tree Grab is definitely up there just because it's, it does so many things. And we get ourselves the, the shape change like a level 10, right? Like, there's no reason to wait with that. What talents do we have? Oh, 240 GPM. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we can get 240 GPM or 20% experience gain here. Uh, it may seem odd that I went for the GPM. Uh, as opposed to experience gain, because, like, isn't usually the rule. Well, get the experience gain right now, then you can get the other talent quicker. Yeah, but uh, we do really care about the GPM. <laughs> because we just want to get ourselves to these items as quickly as possible. And uh, that's where the GPM is going to be really nice. Okay, we're just chilling here. Uh, farming up our strength, farming up our items. What's the bananas? Oh, they just heal you. They just, they're just like a little healing thing. Now, it is worth mentioning here. This mode is full of stuff, right? It is absolutely full of hidden secrets and items and neat little interactions. This right here is not going to be a comprehensive video. I just can't be. All right, so currently we have 10 armor, so I'll toggle this. Now we have more attack speed. This is not going to be a comprehensive video. Uh, I do not know everything there is, and I am not trying to tell you that I do. Instead, this is just kind of an overview. Or like, this is just going to be kind of us playing, I suppose, and, and seeing what we can find and seeing what the loose idea of everything is. But... Uh, at the end of the day, if you want to play this mode and learn about all of the many many things that are in here you're gonna have to do that by yourself right because there's just so much <laughs> there's a million items they lots of custom stuff they are easter eggs um there are all kinds of uh, crazy enemies around the map there's mini games you can take the bananas and feed them to Roshan. It's, again, it's just full of stuff. Absolutely full. And so... We're not planning on tackling everything. It's just not really possible. Alright, uh, I think we can actually try and, and see maybe the, the next area. Yeah, look at that. So this is like the uh, slightly stronger area again. We're just kind of incrementing our way up here. These creeps are not so strong yet, but the next set they will start having these Huskars. And the Huskar is quite powerful. So that's the one that that uh, was why we kind of stayed away from it a bit. Alright, got the next level of our crown, which is fantastic. Also, uh, tree grab got the ability. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's just so good. I mean, in this mode, even more so, right? Splash damage is massive. All right, we'll trample these guys down. Pick up another tree. And uh, how many charges do we have right now? Quite a lot. I mean, we don't actually need this Aghanim shard, do we? Because, like, eventually this will get 228. Oh, this is a boss. We don't want to fight him yet. We're not strong enough for that at this stage. 
We actually don't need Arganim's shard. But it's just gonna make our life, I think, ever so slightly easier. Actually, never mind. So 228 attacks sounds like a lot. But this game mode, like, while it does have an attack speed limit, it is very high. And we have a base attack time of 1.4. I think we can get 228 at attacks out really quickly. Right? So it might be better to just still play it safe there. Okay, so this is my Midas Omelette level 1. Midas Omelette level 2, I still I need uh, this. Now uh, we can upgrade our strength, but I think I have for now... Because the strength thing just works based on stacks, I think. So we don't need to immediately get that. Yeah, shot should be all right. And honestly, like, I think we might actually manage to run out of charges. Like, <laughs> with the really low base attack time we get from this. And then, you know, the high attack speed just from us, from some items. I think it's possible. So we'll just pick up a shard just so we don't have to worry about it. All right, you pick up my next farming tool. Hey, it's all about them farming tools. So far, no boss yet. But that's okay. Alright, we don't mind that. They can stay away. <laughs> Makes our life a bit easier. And uh, Aghanim's shard is in about a minute. So that's good. Everyone watching is rooting for you to get that shard. I know, I spend a lot of time talking about this shard. It's just... Uh, I mean, we're just kind of like punching creeps. <laughs> oh, man. Grab this here. And then... Uh, we'll grab uh, Trample. Trample seems good. And we might actually be able to take on some of the smaller bosses here soon. So this is Ursa. Ursa is the big boss of this area. We almost certainly cannot do Ursa. Uh, anytime soon. Like, we'll need a few more things for that. But uh, there are also some smaller bosses here. And those seem like maybe a bit more possible. All right, I'm just gonna wait for some spawns again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the creeps uh, certainly take their time, time to show up again. This is a, a bit of a problem with the mode, from my experience. It's something I don't... I don't know if I'm playing it wrong. So it's a five-player mode. So I play it with five players, right? Like, I just kind of play whatever the, the mode has as its default set default settings. That's generally how I tackle my videos, because I think um, this is what you tell the audience to do, right? Like, whatever your default settings are is what you tell people they should be doing. And so that's... Yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. I will throw this in there. We have our maxed out tree now. We have our uh, Aghanim shard, so we're good to go. So I will also often play things in uh, normal difficulty for these videos, right? Like, for example, right now we are on normal difficulty. But sometimes that's not actually that good. So like here, for example, um, I think this mode is very likely to be often played solo. Like, I think there's probably, that would be my guess, I don't have any evidence for this, but that would be my guess. I would guess that there are a lot of people that just kind of play this as a single player game. And they just kind of like farm by themselves and they do kind of like beat the game by, himself, by themselves. And that makes a lot of sense. I, I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it is a different experience because um, the experience that we have had so far is that pretty often you have aggressive overlap with where everybody's farming. Not so much this game, because we have one player who doesn't seem to be farming at all, which is the guy that's hiding inside of me the whole time. And then we have uh, our teammates who have been sticking to a different area. And I bet you that is very consciously because of that problem, right? Like, we were trying to actively avoid each other. And because we're actively avoiding each other, um, you know, we can actually farm. But earlier, when we were all trying to get as strong as we could, as quickly as we could. 
It didn't actually work that nicely, specifically because we would be taking each other's creeps and the creeps don't spawn in that frequently. And then, uh, you know, like for example, this right here, this area that I am in, that's, <laughs> what is up with my tiny? Buddy, are you okay? I don't, okay, anyway. Um, this area that we are in uh, wouldn't be enough to sustain more than one hero, right? Like, it's barely enough for just me right now. And that's kind of a bit of a problem, I think. So, I don't know if you should actually play this with five people. Right? We are playing it with five because it's a five-player game. But it could be that it's a five-player game, but you're really supposed to play it with three people or on your own. I don't know which one is true, right? But this is kind of the impression that I've had from it. All right. We'll try. Yeah, we were pretty strong. This guy's tough too. So this is one of the things that I think is actually pretty cool. If I kill this guy, first of all, I get some agility, which is fun. Um, you get just a stat boost. But uh, now you can see the chat said, Wolves, thank you for liberating us. Now we will join your army. So this is what our creep wave looks like right now. But uh, uh, next spawn, we'll have a wolf in it. So we can kind of enhance our creep wave by taking down bosses. Now, to be honest, that, that doesn't really make that much of a difference. <laughs> because uh, the real big monsters the, in the wave that we need to worry about are the bosses that spawn in anyway. And, um, you know, like, in that regard, the extra creeps do not make a lick of a difference. But, I still think it's kind of neat. Just think it's kind of neat. So, you know. Anyway. Uh, we've got this ticking now, the Midas Crown. Uh, can we do Ursa? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're gonna need to farm a lot more if we want to do anything to him. Well, I mean, that's the plan. We'll gaga ourselves the uh, Midas Omelette. And uh, a Moon Shard before that, why not? <clears throat> Tommy, how long does it take you to create one Stories of Dota video? A month. And we are two people working on it. And when I say a month, that's our schedule. Honestly, ugh, a month is really tight. Like, I don't have any breathing room there. Realistically speaking, it actually takes longer than a month. But I'm just kind of making it work in a month. Good news, uh, we're actually making a lot of money now. Right? You can see that we're, we're, we're getting there. Alright, uh, I'm going to toggle this once. Just to make sure. Oh, it's that. Is that the speed form? Is skinny tiny the speed form? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I thought it was a bug, but it's intentional. That's really funny. Oh, that's really funny. Now I like it. That is that is great. Okay. Sorry, uh, but yeah, like they take a month. But really, they take longer just because I am trying so hard to, like, make sure that we actually get them done in a month. Uh, but yeah. I honestly have no idea how we're gonna do this once another international gets thrown into the mix. My main plan there, my main plan once more internationals happen, is that I will just have seen so many Dota games that I just know everything. My, my late game plan for Stories of Dota is to just be a walking encyclopedia and have to and be able to like create the videos based off of that knowledge. Because I have no idea how else I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> but that's a problem for future Balmy. That I don't need to worry about that right now. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are just getting completely destroyed. Um, to upgrade now, we need to actually buy items. Um, minus armor is critical. I, I think I... Hmm. Like, how do we want to itemize this? I think I'm more of like a DPS, right? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Do I get AC? Like, I can get AC. I think it would make sense for me to get AC. No, I think it would make more sense for me to have it. Because I need to tank up a little bit. Right? Like, I can get AC, Desolator, and Crits. One of you can get the Vladimir's Aura. And then I need, like, another item. I don't know. What is what is the other thing? Oh, you are... Oh, that makes sense. You're the guy inside of... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you should get AC. I right, you get AC. Yeah, no, no. Sorry. It's just your Crystal Maiden, not a weird kobold. Um... Yeah, no, that makes way more sense. Right? Clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I will get... I will get a Desolator. Do we get crits? I need attack speed somehow. Hmm. I think I do get crits. Alright. Let's just go for this. Mm. You tried entering pro Dota scene as an analyst or cast, are you not interested? Oh, a long time ago I tried that. These days, no. I mean, I can't even get people to respond to my emails about interviews. I don't think I can do any... Any anal analyst or casting job. I think people don't like me. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's a bit of a problem. MKB for anti-evasion. There's only one boss that has evasion. At least only one boss I know about. So it's not that big of a deal. You guys should come down here. Get get get, get yourself some orbs. <laughs> it's one of the problems. If you make content on the internet for 10 years as an ambitious teenager, you're gonna say some things that will make some people upset and they will resent you for the rest of your life. And then eventually you're an old man. And uh, that's just how it is. And you can't do anything about it anymore. But I'm not... Like, that sounds like I'm bitter about things, but I'm really not. I'm just like, whatever. I'm perfectly happy just sitting in my room, honestly. I like it here. I like making my own content on my own schedule. What did you say? Honestly, just nothing specific. Just like across many years do you have a, you have do you have any idea like just like how much content i have made right and you got to keep in mind every time i make a joke every time i say something a little bit edgy to provoke every time i say anything at all that is an opportunity for somebody to misunderstand me and that all adds up It all adds up, and it adds up, uh, you know, not quickly, but significantly. All right, uh, let's get ourselves some boots. We can get ultra boots, which are a lot of stats, which is nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, <laughs> Wispy, this is purely just kind of like a loosely answering a question from chat. There's nothing specific going on. Don't worry about it. All right. But I mean, I'm just saying there's like a lot of people out there that when asked, they will be like, no, no, I fucking hate Balmy. And then you, then you ask why, what's the problem? And they'll give you, like, this vague, loose idea of something that happened 50 years ago. And they don't even fully remember it. <laughs> but that's just kind of the thing, again, right? Like, creating content on the internet, like, all of your crimes add up and will never be forgiven. No matter how small they are. No matter how, how minor your misdemeanor. It all accumulates. Over and over and over again. Hey, NQ Kuas! Thanks for the 13 months, my friend. Appreciate it. Okay, um, next up. I think we just upgrade our Midas Omelette. Kind of maximize our farming stuff, right? And, uh, I mean, we're pretty strong, honestly. I feel pretty confident. 
Got another blue, uh, green orb here. So these boots let us teleport anywhere on the map, which is convenient. It's nice. Take these, thank you. And health regen. Oh, yeah. All right, we are able to tackle this net. Wow, we're really strong. Well, I mean, at this point, we've played it a couple of times, right? We've played the game mode a couple of times, so I'm... I'm but it's, it's nice to, like, see that I feel like I've got a better understanding of the timings now. And we actually feel really powerful. Also, Tiny is maybe a better character than Tidehunter. I mean, like, let's be honest, I've called casters idiots way too many times on stream for anybody to ever want to hire me. <laughs> How often have I complained about the Dota casters? I mean, pretty much every time they open their mouths, right? So, coming up here. It just annoys me that they don't explain things. I feel like if you're common, if you're if you dare to explain the video game, then like explain the video game. Why do you never explain anything? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, sorry. All right. Um. Well, what are we doing? We have both of our farming items maxed out, so we're like just kind of. Cruising through it. We have an inventory slot left. We should fill that up with something. What do we want to buy? Like, what's a good item for us? Trident? Chad, what, what, what should we, what should I get? I'm not asking this, like, from, like, give me your opinion point of view. I'm asking, please help. I don't know what to buy. <laughs> Almor. So I need arm I need armor. So I don't die. We have an Assault Karas from the dude. I guess the dragon armor. Do I get a dragon armor? Is this good? It's a bunch of agility, but it's not armor. What other armor could we get? Spectral armor? Does that count for an Assault Karas? The axe looking thing. Reinforced Rocker Tune. Your rich wings. Oh, yeah, let's actually get wings. So, wings is a consumable item you can buy to cost 20,000 gold. And it gives you just passive flying movement. Uh, and with how much money we've got, I think getting some wings seems like a good idea. Hey, look, now we're flying tiny. Hey, Mercy44, thank you so much for the 28 months, my friend. I appreciate that. Oh, we'll take these guys down. Um, I mean, we do have to kill this guy some more. Uh, we should kill the Ursa again. So if any anybody who wants an Ursa thing, please come. Man, I'm like some weird demon tiny. It's an absolute nightmare. <clears throat> do you know about the random books around the map? They give you hero permanent ability. I do not. <laughs> See, that's what I mean with like, there's so much more left to discover. Hey, Mercy44. Thank you so much for gifting us up. Appreciate it. I will upgrade this. Okay, so what? So we want an armor item, right? What are these? Titan Champion Armor. No, but it doesn't scale in the same way as other stuff. Is that maybe a good thing? You know what? Maybe I just get this. I don't have to use cores on it. You know? Can you pick me up? <laughs> sure, hello. That and Heroic Helm. What's Heroic Helm? Guardian Helm of the Under... Heroic Helm. 
absolute health per strength, region per strength. All right, let's get, let's get heroic helm. Right now, we're just kind of crushing these guys a little bit. See, this is kind of where we start running into this problem, though, right? Like, there are now other players that also want to farm this area. And because we are overlapping the farming space, it's difficult for both of us to actually get the money that we're looking for. And uh, that's just kind of annoying. This is kind of a little bit irritating, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's just... Uh, can we do this guy? It's a mini boss. Oh my. Sure does a lot of damage, but so do we. Hey! Extra agility. Thank you very much. You're getting in again? Thank you. Tiny Express is going! Doing Ursa? Oh, hell yeah. I'm coming. Take this guy down. <clears throat> and we've got a Helm of the Undying. And I'm hoping that with this, I can go into the next area. Because that would be ideal if I can just kind of um, go somewhere where I don't need to overlap with my team. And then we just farm that already. Yeah, we're fine. Look at us. Holy shit, tiny. All right, I mean, I, I see why, why you told me to pick tiny. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> what an absolute monster. And we're not even close to peak potential. I need level 50 to get uh, another uh, 0.5 seconds base attack time reduction. And we also still have stone rage left. God. Tiny is gonna be an absolute menace. <laughs> All right. Crit upgrade. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, there's a bunch of them. We can get Daedalus 2, which builds into Fire Rapier, which I heard is good. Super improved Hoodwings Crossbow. That is terrible. That doesn't do anything. Reinforced Daedalus or Billy Harrington's Weapon. Which one do you think we should get? I mean, crit upgrade by itself is not actually that clearly defined. There are some options. Also, by the way, I should mention this. Um, bosses have been spawning. Somebody else has been clearing them. The early bosses aren't that dangerous. And by early bosses, yes, I do mean bosses before like minute 90. Okay, um, attack speed 1825, 35, so I don't actually need to toggle between, <laughs> oh. I think we get, for fire rapier, I'm gonna need the fire gloves, all right, improved heroic helm, So we've taken this guy down. We have our Desolator now. I'm really undecided what we're actually building. For the Fire Gloves, uh, we need to go somewhere else. I don't know if we can kill that yet. Probably not. But I think we are going to go for the Fire Rapier, right? Empowers the owner with limitless firepower. And it gives an 8% chance... To uh, burn enemies' armor, which stacks, which is really important. Like, units have a lot of armor in the late game. And this eventually upgrades with the Desolator. Oh, that seems nice. Okay. So I'm just going to upgrade this into a uh, Daedalus 2 at the moment. So if I come in over here, this guy can drop the item. I'm oh, God. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 
Up, 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 up. Got it, got it, got to hide. Up, oh, there you go. Okay, okay. We don't keep flying movement if we take damage from a boss, so. <laughs> Hello. Let me just handle this really quick. Oh, these are the base buildings. They're kind of tough. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just really strong. Hello. Wow. No, they are kind of tough. I mean, we are really strong, but that, that dude also goes hard. So we have this improved heroic helm. We have our ultra boots. Do I need the boots? These can only these are only really useful for the teleport, right? Other than that, we don't need them. So I can get rid of the boots and I can equip something else. Oh shit. <laughs> No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I accidentally ran into a boss that we don't want to run into yet. <laughs> okay, um... Do we want to get the reinforced Rockatoon? Which has a path, permanently affects the target's armor, penetrating its structure and breaking its durability. When the item's owner deals the physical damage against an enemy, destabilizes, activated, and reduces the enemy's armor percentage for a while. That seems really good, gives a bunch of attack speed too. Or when the health of the owner of this axe falls below 50%, Fury awakens. Okay, uh, increasing the attack speed. So that's 200 attack speed, but it doesn't give any damage or anything like that. All right, you guys want to buy this? Well, if it's what if that's what chat wants, then that's just how it's gonna be. Oh, I'm sorry, did you die too? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Might be. Okay, I'm coming. Let me help you. Let me help you. I'll take this guy down. Got the next level of our axe. And then there's... Uh, is there this guy? Yeah, there's an upgraded version of him now. Which we'll take down really quick. Get some extra agility. Now, it is maybe worth mentioning that this mode does have pay to win elements. I know that... Some people are bothered by that. I personally don't care, especially for something that isn't PvP, right? I mean, you know, I just don't buy it. But if that's something that bothers you, then there you go. Have that information as well. I wouldn't want to seem like I'm withholding it from you. Alright then. Yeah, I'm just clearing out these guys now. Ooh, what was that? So now we've got satyrs that have joined our army. Book? What do you mean, book? Epic Tome of Abilities. When applied to the Tower or Aghanim. Huh? Grants a random epic level 1 ability. You feed that to a tower. Okay, see, this is what I mean with, like, this mode is full of, like, random shit. Okay, so there's a tower. I'm giving this to this tower. This tower now has Moonglaze. So, minor question. Why would I care about that? <laughs> These towers aren't even powerful. Look at them. <laughs> they just they, they are not gonna last at all. As soon as the creep gets near them, they'll die. I mean, you saw that Wraith King, right? That's how strong these bosses get. They get way stronger than that. The tower does not stand a chance eventually. A tower can solo bosses if you give them enough. I sincerely doubt that, but I will take you at your word. So we have a lot of money. That is good. That is very good. Last time we played, not having enough money was actually our biggest problem. This time around, that doesn't seem to be a concern. Ah, uh, I am really worried about this guy, but we'll try. This guy has some AoE bullshit magic stuff that does huge amounts of damage, but no, we can tank it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's upgrade our Desolator. 
We have the Elite Desolator now. Very good. And there's another Tusking boy. Take him down. Just kind of murder these nerds. And... Is there a better tanking item than the improved Heroic Helm? Like, this is better, right? The Dragon Armor. This gives how much 360 strength right now? 360 strength is actually quite a lot of HP, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit. Oops. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, it went a little quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, Tiny sure is good, isn't he? Should we buy the dragon armor? This gives 25% damage reduction. Absolute resist. That's what that means. Okay. I got a... Got a philosopher's stone. Wait, wait. Here, for you. No! Take the philosopher's stone. You can get 75 extra GPM. <laughs> So apparently I just found another thing. You can get like neutral creep stuff there. Here's the next area. Oh yeah. So it, it might actually be alright to get rid of these soul drenched Midas crown at this point. Because we can farm these creeps way quicker. So like I think that's okay. I think that's fine. We can get rid of the soul drenched Midas crown. Apologies. Uh, I uh, apology. I need to go back really quick. I'm gonna. Yeah, seventy percent bonus experience. You wanna get level seventy five? Nah, we'll, it's fine. I, I wanna uh, buy stuff. I need to get. I need to get this guy. What item do we want? Oh wow! Goodbye. Uh, we could just get the Putch thing. Scotty? This is attack speed. I think I'll get this. Passive. 10% chance to disarm and silence your target for one second. This seems absurd. Doesn't this just like, isn't this just a permanent disarm? This seems like it's a permanent disarm. With my attack speed. So, we'll give that a go. What is this doing? Wow! Alright, so it gains HP as I deal damage to it. Do you drop neutral items? You do! That's just like your thing, huh? So this is how you get neutral items. So yeah, I, I whatever I attack is just silenced and disarmed now. Well, that seems pretty useful, doesn't it? Rest in peace. Oh, we have liberated the ogres. They will join us now. <laughs> watermelon skin. <laughs> this is a very important item. It turns you into a watermelon. Um, yeah, this mode is just like, again, it's it's full of uh, just truly uh, very uh, intellectual elements that, that definitely needs to need to be there. <laughs> Okay. We'll put this here. I'm gonna come over here. Because I want to go ahead and kill this guy again. I need to uh, upgrade my... Uh, whatever that is. Look, it totally just disarms things. That is so sick. That is so sick. I think the triumphy rate is awesome. Right? Come on, chat. What an incredible item. Can I do this guy now? Okay. Well... Yeah. He only gets to fight back every once in a while. <laughs> oh, it's not a... It's, it's got a cooldown. 
Yeah, that's all right. I don't know. Kill the tusk one more time. Yeah, I want to build the fire rapier, though. I don't think I get the fire rapier stuff. From the, uh... From the tusk. I need to kill this guy for it. Oh, that's good, Wispy. I'm glad that your Etsy stuff is back. All right. No, we'll, we'll, we'll get this guy. Don't worry about it. Oh, that might be a problem. Nah, we're fine. I don't have lifesteal anymore, but that's okay. Alright, now we have trolls joining us. Ooh, this is actually... I, I am not fine. Alright, let's leave. Let's go kill Tusk one more time. Turns out we do need that little fella. That, that guy really goes a long way. Oh, he's not here? Is he already dead? This guy, maybe? So here's my Giga Rage. I guess it's isn't really not useful because I'm already kind of capped out on attack speed. Ooh, yeah, I do need lifesteal. I do need my little friend. Without him, I'm just not that powerful. Your gold is maxed out, buy something. But what? I guess recipes? Oh, yeah. I, I can just, like, buy recipes, right? That's fine. Alright, I don't really want the watermelon skin, if I'm honest. All stats? Spider legs? I mean, I guess it's something. I can kill this next guy here. Um, the next boss is uh, King Kong, obviously. I'm not sure if we can kill King Kong. King Kong is pretty strong. That's what one might expect, naturally. I mean, it's King Kong. King Kong isn't strong. Who's going to be strong, right? And we'll activate our rage. <clears throat> okay. I think we'll get there. It takes a little bit, but it should be fine. How are you guys doing? No, 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 no. We can use the trample as just like an instant stun. This is right on top of us. You don't have money problems now? No, I don't. But that's because I am way stronger and capable of, like, one-shotting most creeps. Well, not one-shotting, but, like, practically. You know, they die so quickly. Which is, like, incomparably more powerful compared to earlier. I guess... Is that an oxymoron? I don't know. Um, well, we've got our legendary desolator, so that's good. I actually don't know if I like this triumphant raid, but I, I guess I'm going for it now. I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this some more. I already have this. So I'm saving up for this guy right now. What is this effect? Agility bonus and activation. Wow, I can get 50 agility if I activate this. Big money. <laughs> Just god tier value. So I should try to kill that fire dude again, right? Because that fire dude drops me the um, thing I need for the fire rapier. So this is kind of our primary opponent. Why is he healing? He summoned a dazzle. Holy shit. Unbelievable. How dare you summon dazzle. Alright, dazzle is dead. Luckily, it's got a really long cooldown. Alright, I think we'll be fine. 
I think we'll be okay. <laughs> and yeah, we would burn through the 225 attack limit of the tree grab pretty quickly, right? Okay, bonus all stats. And that's it. Didn't drop anything else. Then I would like to... So, for I have all of these now. And for this, I need a Mega Fury still. I need a Divine Rapier. And I need the Recipe, which is 45,000 gold. Holy shit. That's pretty expensive, isn't it? Scroll of Armor. When applied to the Tower Aghanim, this increases his armor. Alright. I'm gonna come over here again, though. We'll go over there. There's a big wave. Are there any bosses or anything like that right now? No, nothing. Nah, we're fine. Good. Run through here. We'll go we'll go kill King Kong again. These guys seem uh, like this is clearly like another tier up. They're worth a lot. They're probably too strong for us to like kill the boss there. I think right now it makes more sense to focus on King Kong. Oh, for this I still need an upgrade here. Alright, kill King Kong really quick. Good. We have the next level of the legendary triumvirate. And then we'll we'll need to kill this guy again. <clears throat> Is he death active? He gives 50 agility. At least that's what it says. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it actually does. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, we're just making some money really quick. Let me take this guy down. And I think I'm gonna go check for... If the fire spirit respawned. Like, I mean, it should be uh, around now. I don't know if we're strong enough. Yeah. Oh! Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, the... that was much quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Nice egg! Alright. We have all the shit, is that right? I think we've got it. I have an extra recipe for something. Oh, I need to upgrade my divine still. For that, I need to kill Enigma. And for that, I need. I, okay, I have a bunch of bunch of recipes left. But I do have the the fire rapier now. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll put that in the stash. Uh, let's check you. Oh, wow, you're strong now. Spell person. I mean, I might be useful for somebody. Not for me, but somebody. Oh, wow, okay. Turns out fire rapier is good. I mean, I guess that shouldn't be a surprise, but... Oh, damn. Alright, freaky tiny just kind of freaking out a lot. <laughs> So I wanted to upgrade this, right? Uh, I need this here? I need money. So I need more than anything else.
So I think this is not a bad idea to just kind of like focus on these creeps for a moment. I wonder where this actually takes us. I've never been in here. Like we have now reached a point where in terms of power level, we've never been this strong. Never gotten to this stage. So it, it is kind of curious to see what exactly we're going to do now. Alright, let's have our stuff delivered really quick. Uh-huh, okay. Wraith King boss, you think we can handle him? Probably, right? Like, we can handle the Wraith King boss? Hello, buddy. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh, maybe we're not fine. So we have, uh, basically, Fury Swipes for Armor. Which is really just another way of saying we have Fury Swipes. Oh god, when we get stunned, it sure hurts. Oh, Doom is coming. Okay, so we are now uh, starting to fight proper bosses. Proper scary bosses. Oh. So, Mythical Soul. Is that not what I need here? Do I not have this recipe? I do not. Okay, where's Doom? Am I past Doom? I am, I think. Or has somebody already killed him? I've left my cobalt buddy. Did I? No, oh, that's unfortunate. I'm looking for Doom. Oh, I guess maybe Doom has already been taken care of. So, um, now I need this. I know where Weaver is. Weaver is above this guy. I don't know if we can handle Weaver. We might need to do some more farming before we can do Weaver. But uh, we will give it a try. Oh, well, we seem to be fine against these guys. <laughs> I don't know if he's got any stuns again. I'll just activate the magic immunity. I, he seems to be doing something. I don't know what it is, but... Pop off, I guess. Ah! See. So, uh... That's bad. <laughs> Press space. Oh! Ooh! Active empowers the owner with limitless firepower. Oh! It's got an active effect as well. Okay. All right. Well, we'll use that next time. Look, I'm I'm figuring my way out, okay? Look, I'm getting there. This is always the problem when you play modes like this. When you play modes where people are already, like, well-established, well-familiar with it. And then you don't do everything exactly right. The first time you try it, how fucking dare you even touch the mode. And come on, do it! Got him. I did it! I have a soul drench rapier. That's the giga rapier. Okay. Oh my god! Uh, what do we do now? <laughs> we can go kill Wraith King. Uh, yeah, sure. I think that shouldn't be a problem now. Well, I do need one of these anyway. Like... Oh... Alright, activate this. Giga power. <laughs> Did you get it? 
Yeah, I think so. Alright, this is upgraded. Oh no, leave our towers alone. How dare you? Oh, there's Doom! Well, it didn't last very long, but there he was. Holy sh... I am so strong. That is crazy. <laughs> nice buildings, friends. Nice buildings. So I can now come in here. Oh, I nearly killed the base. Ooh, I want to be careful with that. No, 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 no. Okay, we're, we're, we're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. I just took down everything else. Do the Phantom Assassin. So, this is this is something where, like, I appreciate, I appreciate the help, right? But you must understand that when you say do the Phantom Assassins, I am getting no usable information because I have no idea where the Phantom Assassins are. I'm guessing here? Is this the right area? It doesn't look like Phantom Assassin. No, this is not it. Am I in the wrong place? Top right boss. Okay, wait, there is... Wait, here it is. Top right boss. So I, I gotta go... Over... Okay, I, I have a lose... It's above the Weaver. Oh shit, there's an Invoker. Oh, let me go, let me go, let me go! Ah! Okay, I guess we're fighting. I wasn't planning on fighting this dude, but I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't fight him because I do just kind of die. Uh, I can still upgrade this. I need a zombie kill. And I need this. I have like inventory spots, right? I should probably use my inventory for something. Don't think fire rapey has crits. Does it not? It uses crits. Oh no, it doesn't have crits. Oh, we should definitely get crits. Um, let's just go and upgrade crits then. Right? We'll get ourselves Ursa really quick. Say hello to him. Oh my god. Tiny's just like... <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute, absolute killing spree. Violent, violently annihilating anything that even dare look at him. You know, Tiny, you, you can't just treat people like this. <laughs> well, I guess he can. I guess he can and he will. Hello, I'm coming. Um, is it alright if I help out a little bit? Okay, don't worry about it. And then uh, Wraith King, I think. No, I do also need the other guy. I do also need King Kong, right? Let's go over here, kill King Kong really quick. Oh, King Kong is still kind of strong. Never mind. <laughs> and then Wraith King? <laughs> yep, there goes Wraith King, okay. And then we just gotta get the Weaver, right? We'll get the Weaver. And uh, I for this, I need... The Wraith King again, and then the Weaver one more time. Hello! Sorry, he's doing something right now. I don't really know what it is, but... Yeah, I would be careful. I died too? But it was so far away! He teleported me in front of him? 
Oh, that is that is some bullshit. Come on now. I was nowhere near that. Like, I thought that it it's like shockwaves, right? You don't want to be right in front of him so you get hit by multiple, but he just teleports you there? All right, game. I see what you're up to. I see what you're trying to do. All right, get in there. We'll just teleport. Take care of him. Good. Um, I need another Wraith King. So let's go over here. Alright, just one more of these guys. And then I need one more Viva. And I'm actually done. So this is something that I did wrong at first. And I think... Honestly, it's not very intuitive, right? But my initial instinct with this game mode was that I upgrade... You know, I get a full inventory slot of items that, that you can upgrade, and I upgrade all of them. So that at the end of the day, I have six items that are all fully upgraded. Doesn't that make sense? It made sense to me. Still makes sense to me. But no, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, right? Like, I have this item, which is just fine. It's just sick, right? And this item just amps up my gold. So I really only have four inventory spots. Alright, and I, I could probably make do with three. And I just upgrade those. Alright. So, uh, let's try out Phantom Assassin. Alright, here are Assassins. Oh, well, they have some sort of Omni Knight shield going on. <laughs> Not for very long, though. Uh, yeah, that shield is kind of annoying, though, isn't it? Oh, rupture as well. Where's the Phantom Assassin? She should be here, right? This makes sense? No, that's not it? Yeah, is that it? Oh, kind of doing something weird. I'll just, I'll just hit him. No idea what he's doing exactly, but I'll just kind of punch him in the face and hope that's enough. Okay, well, yeah, no, there's certainly stuff happening. I'll just kind of keep hitting him, right? I mean, so far it's working all right. <clears throat> now I have way too much money again. I honestly don't know what to do with all my money. <sighs> Anybody got any suggestions for an item we could buy? Ooh, that was close. And bonus all stats one. Thousand. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, you're strong. That guy's filthy. No, oh, 50 all stats. I guess I'll take it. Is that it? Oh, that was actually one of the bosses here, right? Yeah. It's just creeps, but I don't have any value to farm it. I mean, it's probably time to get rid of the Midas then, right? Like, if I literally just don't even think farming is valuable anymore. Um, what what do we want? I think dragon armor probably makes sense. It's just something that tanks us up a bunch. Party, 
So we'll just go for that. Right, just like be tanky. Alright, then you come over here, my friend. Oh, we're just farming on the way a little bit. Should be fine. Uh, there's a Naga Siren. Then I need Ancient Apparition. <laughs> This shore is tiny. Alright, then we've got Ancient Apparition. Next up, King Kong. We'll go for King Kong. Make some money on the way there. And then we need Wraith King. And then we just need the Weaver. And, uh... I don't know... If we'll have enough gold. But maybe. So let's go. You guys want to kill Invoker? I mean, we can kill Invoker. We can try to kill Invoker. No, fuck, I need to leave. I'm leaving. I'm literally just running away. You think he's done? He's probably done, right? Like, I, he gotta be done. Alright, good. Hey! Alright, Korea gotta deliver that. Alright, let me, let me do PA again. I've been told that we can do PA again. And then... Then we'll try to do Invoker. And get your vampire boss, why not? My currently best commander deck is still Edgar. So I'm pro vampire. <laughs> this rapier? How about you use the rapier? Are you sure you should be here, Sunrise? Wow, nice dodge. Well, that's, that's, that's good. That's what you need to do if you want to survive here. No, Sunrise is pretty strong. Look at that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, this dude is beefy. How much HP is that? 360 million? I don't even know. 36 million. And we got him. Another thousand oil stats. Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to come down here. And we'll look for your vampire. And I also want to kill this guy again and see if we can get better neutral item. Mirror shield. I mean, I guess it's better. What was that? 10 all stats? I'll take it. So, where's the vampire? This Putch? Warlock is vampire. But he's not a vampire. I don't... I, you're gonna, gonna need to ping it out. There's the courier. Let's make the courier big. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be too big a courier. It's north of Pudge. Okay, here's Pudge. To the north of him. So we go up here. Um That could be that could mean a lot to the north of him. There? Oh. That is, I guess, kind of to the north of Pudge. It's not where I would have looked. Did you get it? It's 
It's a mythical desolator recipe. What, what am I doing with this? All of my items are maxed out. I don't think any of them can be upgraded anymore. Yeah, but still so what? They may have bought a recipe too many. Fucking sue me. <laughs> what is this? Epic Tome of Abilities. That works on towers. Tome of Knowledge. Oh, I can buy strength. I guess I'll buy strength. Alright, let's see if we can find... If we can kill this guy. We're so strong now. Oh my god, he's doing a lot of weird shit. Well? We're burning his... Burning his armor? Can upgrade the axe? I can! Sick. Alright, we're getting this. Um... That this might take a little while, but I don't think he's actually killing us in any way, so it's like, fine, right? <clears throat> Sans, it's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Wait, where's Sans coming from? What the fuck is... What does Sans have to do with any of this? Wait, Sans is up there? What are you guys doing? Did you kill the Citadel? Wait, why am I... Where, what? Why is there Sans? What the fuck is going on? We're getting fucked up by Sans. He even got his, like... He even got his other abilities. So, so how do I kill him? This is this is one hell of a plot twist. I was not prepared for this. Um, just keep attacking. I, I guess I just keep hitting him, right? I'm just I'm gonna just keep hitting sounds. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. Okay, so we need to hit him five times. And only one out of a hundred attacks will hit him. Well, that means we are actually perfect for this. Right? So far, we've hit him once. Wait, did, is he, wait, wait, did we get him? Oh, I guess I hit him four times already, not once, he, did, he has five charges. Okay, I'm not sure why Zahn's Undertale is here. Dude, if John Elden Ring shows up, then I won't know what to do with myself anymore. I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for that. I was killing Invoker. Oh, God. I got distracted. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna go back to killing Invoker. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Is this even useful? This reduces armor. Is this even a good thing to have? Like, this reduces the armor by 50%, right? And this also reduces armor. Like, I feel like those are redundant effects. This one is just better than this one. So I, I don't, I don't know if we need it, but oh well. 
compared to the farm PA for stats. But do you know what item Invoker drops? Because I don't. What if he drops plus 10,000 stats? Hmm? I don't know what he drops. So I'm just gonna kill him and find out. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. It's just gonna take him down. We'll see what happens. Well, anyway, uh, so how's everybody doing? Oh shit, it's already 6.20. I haven't even started today's upload. God, this is going so long. All right, let me just kind of start uploading a video. What are we uploading today? Chat, do we want... What, what is today's video? We have... Dotan? No, that's the only thing that has a thumbnail. No, we also could do items RP. Nah, let's do, let's do Dotan. Where's Dotan? There we go. This is not a worker. He's Dota 2 itself. Do Invoker is absolutely John, the John Elden Ring of our game, right? Like, Invoker's real name is Carl Dota. <laughs> Carl Dota the second. There you go. Nailed it. Are we making progress? I think so. It's just slow. Let's get 1700 and minus armor. I mean, like... This doesn't heal him or anything, right? No, I'm, I'm making progress. We got him down to like 100... Like, we got him, we got him at 200 million health. It just takes a while. I hope we don't lose the game to the boss wave in the meantime. I mean, at the very least, he doesn't really have a lot of health regen, so I could just, like, leave and do something else and come back later. Drops to this mode for eating time like no other custom game. I mean, it reminds me a lot of, like, Thunder's Cots before they, like, ruined it. <laughs> Well, to be honest, this one is a lot more competent than Thunder's Cards from the very outset. But, like, it's it's not something that I personally would find a lot of enjoyment playing repeatedly. And I, I know other people do, and I'm not trying to judge there. I'm just saying for me that that wouldn't be enough. But, you know, once in a while, I think, like, a mode like this, where all you do is you just kind of, like, become as powerful as you can, as quickly as you can. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, 40 million HP, I think. Or is this 400 million? No, it's 40 million, right? And we're getting there. We're getting there. Almost got him. I wonder what he drops. Okay. Boar, thank you for help. It will be easy. We get a lizard. Frostmourne. Active. King power. Wait, this is actually 10,000 all stats. See? I told you. <laughs> I fucking knew it. It's 10,000 all stats. You will listen to the whispers of the furions of Lordaeron. All outgoing damage is doubled. All damage taken against the heroes doubled. So if I activate this, for a little while, I deal double damage. Well, that's kind of sick. Go beat Axe. Okay, where the hell is Axe? What's better? Is this better or my Triumphy Wait, Probably this, right? This is probably better. So Axe is over here somewhere. I can feed him stuff. He's a hungry boy. No? 
Up here, maybe? Power of knowledge. Magical knowledge. Teach us new spells. I've learned Aftershock. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know where, where is it? Did I like accidentally kill him? Like here maybe? No, no, I was up here. In the left middle, here. Oh, this gotta be it. There he is. Oh. That, that might end up being a problem. Huh. Okay, so how exactly is that supposed to work? <laughs> so even, even everything that I have isn't enough for him. Also, I, I think we just yeet this, right? This isn't useful. All right, um, I would like to... Oh, they go the neutral items. Uh, one sec. I gotta go pick up... Where's my guy? All right, I think already inside of me. I'm, I'm just gonna go do this really quick one moment. Okay. And I think we'll check for Phantom Assassin. Oh, there's a boss wave. Okay. I'll just I'll just check for Phantom Assassin really quick. Okay, I've activated Frost Morn, which may or may not be a mistake. No, we've got him. Alright, bonus all stats a thousand. I guess I will... Wait, is our creep wave so powerful they can just handle themselves? Look at it! They can just kill the bosses because we've killed so much shit around the map. That's funny. We've killed so many things that the creeps can just, like, handle the bosses. The creeps are just gonna win the game for us. Look at how strong they are. That's crazy. Okay, um, well, I think... Got a triagonum? Right? Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, yeah. I, I don't need this. Why would I need this? Alright, I'm gonna use my magic immunity. And all of my damage boosts. And! Well. I got him. Physical skills. I have learned cool. Oh, damn. How many spells can I learn? Okay, so I think I am as strong as I can possibly get, right? Like, I'm just... This is just it? Is this just... Am I just done? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could keep buying tomes, but like... Maybe it's time to end it. Is it alright? Oh my god! Yeah, well, the creeps are already doing that! <laughs> There's the middle area you're missing. This area? No, that's part of the, uh, the Wraith King. It's part of Wraith King. I think we did that. Creep stats. Yeah, look at these guys. They're massive. They're absolutely massive. All right, friends. I will now kill the Ancient. I hope everybody's okay with that. I have killed the Ancient. Okay, the game will end in 40 seconds. 
Wait, what? There's no... I was told there would be a boss that spawns. <laughs> okay. Wait, where are you teleporting me? Oh, over there. Okay, that's fine. After the 40 seconds pass, Dio spawns and you're locked in time forever. Alright, I'm gonna mute the audio. No. Yes, I lie. Oh, okay, so there's just a boss now. Sorry, I, I was told there would be copyrighted music, so I... I had... I made an, a mute button just in case. But there was no music. Okay, I guess. Radiant victory. I guess we win. All right. There you go. That's it. Um, we beat it. I mean, to be honest, we, we could have beaten that quite a while ago. I really did not, really did not need to do all of the stuff around the map. But I think at the same time, Doing all the stuff around the map is kind of the point of the game mode a little bit, right? Anyway, so that was Roshan Defense Rebirth. I think we had some fun with it. Um, if you did have some fun, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.